Welcome back to the Kimmy Kato Show with special guest Michelle and Arwen, Arwen Lewis. And it's uh, Kimmy Kato. Michelle, who are we listening to right now? This is awesome. Yeah, that was uh, Kikuo. And it was the song called Aishite, Aishite, Aishite. Yeah, I love it. I love I love being turned on to this new music. So cool. Mm-hmm. So what were I just my question that I want to toss it back to you guys, but I was just curious, did you find any restaurants or or food that you loved or bump into any great servers or bartenders or wait staff that you favorite places that you went to during South by Southwest? Yeah, I think um there were a couple of places. Um we went to a few, but out of those, I enjoyed a place called um, Casino El Camino. And that one was recommended by quite a few locals there. Um, and they're known for, it's it like the looks of it, it looks like a very um, small, dark, Sleepy. like regular, yeah, regular bar. But they're known for their yummy burgers. And what you do is you go in, you take a seat. Or no, you you choose a table and then you order your burgers and your food at the back window. And then it's just like all self-serve ish, but it was great. And the patty was super thick. <laughs> Best burger in Austin? One of you think? I'm, sure. One of, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's lots. Yeah. yeah. The other place was called Cooper's. Now that's the typical, you know, meat on your tray and you eat on a piece of paper on your table but it was delicious oh my goodness and you get your hands dirty it was it was great (laughs) that was recommended by um one of our lyft drivers there yeah Mm, nice i'm glad you guys asked the locals that's a good yeah (laughs) good tip Uh, very cool thank you and what are you guys, what, what were you up to after uh, late at night? You sure you want to know? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> um, you know, I so. Want, <laughs> yeah. I want to know. Yeah, what was going on after midnight? Arwen, don't, don't go away. <laughs> Arwen's trying to sneak away. <laughs> what, happens, what, what happens after midnight in South, in South by? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, I stayed an extra Don't day. Don't rush and speak up at once. Michelle, <laughs> <laughs> you can't get out Patrick's of day. We went to an Irish pub called uh, Kelly's, and um, it was really fun. And there were so many Irish people there. It was awesome. They, they were all speaking in their accents and talking about Irish culture. And um, there were it, there was kind of a younger crowd, too, so we didn't stay for too long. Um, but that was like the tail end of my South by, and then we went and got more tacos. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Never have enough tacos. <laughs> I, <laughs> well, I hopped around. Well, there was one night where we just hopped around all the venues. I think we went, we were able to hit up four or five different venues obviously grabbed a drink at each venue. So we were feeling pretty good, <laughs> but um, it was so cool. Cause then every venue had different showcases, meaning different genres. And we would just enjoy and just kind of drown ourselves with different sounds and the, the live music. So that was great. After taking shots of tequila, of course. Let yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, me cover your ears. I know. <laughs> And then there was another night where I just got to spend some quality time with Croy, the band members. Um, so that was that was very nice. They're very pure, pure boys, pure Japanese boys that absolutely love music and have so much passion for it. And each and one of them are so talented in the band. So it was great to spend that time with them. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Kimmy, you, there's a lot of, there's technology, there's film, but you were, you saw some great technology. Yeah. So one, yeah. One of the standouts uh, theme, standout theme for me, uh, aside from music, obviously music, I was there for music, but um, another completely different part of what I liked about Southwest this year was that you know, the, intersection of technology and humanity and there was a panel uh, about it and 
it was a and this time it was particular fo there was a particular focus on how emerging technologies are reshaping our lives and um there was one expert in that ai industry actually uh, I'm I'm not going to go too deep today because it's just you know we're focusing on music and culture, but I wanted to touch upon it because it's the most talked about topic um, at the moment, which is AI singularity, and um, it, there was a, the author, uh, an American author called uh, Ray Kurzweil, uh, who's an inventor, futurist, a computer scientist and known for his work in the artificial artificial intelligence world. Um, and he talked about a topic which I am very fascinated by, which is the singularity by AI. Where singularity by AI meaning when will computer uh, pass for a human being? And he's, um, Ray Kurzweil uh, was a speaker and He's known for his theory about the concept of technology and technological singularity. Uh, AI singularity is a hypothetical idea where artificial intelligence is, is more intelligence, intelligent than humans. So if machines are smarter than people, a new level of intelligence will be reached that humans can't catch up. It's just so, uh, can't achieve. And it will cause technology to develop exponentially and humans cannot evolve as fast enough um, to catch up. Expert believe that AI can improve itself repeatedly at some point, leading to a rapid te technological advances that will be impossible for us humans to fathom or control. Um, events like this are expected to cause significant changes in our society, economy, and technology. Um, he also talked about the term AGI, which is which means automatic general intelligence, which is what the heck that, does that mean? Um, it means that a computer can emulate any human being. Crazy, meaning one computer <laughs> can do everything that human being can think and or can do. Meaning any human, it can be somebody. Um, it's crazy. But how far away are we from this singularity of AI? Ray mentioned in his in his theory, he says 2045. So you know we're not we're not that far from it. But other scientists says they speculate that the tipping point will occur much you know, far sooner. Um, what that will mean is that a computer will be able to recreate what's in your brain, Jeremiah. So you know you'll be your brain will be back. Oh no! Up. <laughs> and you know for for any reason you kind of disappear, blows you know you get blown up or something. And but your whatever is in your brain will be backed up, so a computer will be able to recreate everything. Oh my god! In, in your brain. How do they so, get the data? Yeah, that's how, yeah. So through through. Uh, I think it's language, um, large language programming. I think so. Everything that, say, for instance, all the radio show that Jeremiah has ever done will say that would be fed into the computer. It'll be downloaded into the computer. All the writings, all, er, all everything will be downloaded into a computer. Now that will be a, that computer will now be able to process who you are, what kind of personality you have. And how you would react if I asked you, say, so Jeremiah, and now you're not, say, you're a computer. And, and I would ask you as if you were Jeremiah, because now you, you are know, Jeremiah. How do you know I'm not? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so that's that's the talk. And it's interesting because, you know, the word singularity originally comes from a physics uh, word. Um, it's It means black hole. And it, it, so no light esca escapes. So you're... So nobody understands what it is, and it comes from that meaning AI singularity. Nobody really knows what's going to happen in 2045 when the tipping point happens and the computer takes over. Could they take over? So there's the controversy of what's going to happen to our lives. Are we? Should we not continue exploring in this world, or or 
should we stop this or and there's our pro there's obviously pros and cons um the computer is going to process so much data so fast that we will mean that will enable us to discover things and understand things that we humans will never be able to understand ever but we will be able to if we have the technology to do that but then again what what if computer takes over our lives because right. like, we're the like, inferior now we're not yes, one of the dumb ones <laughs> yes we're not the dominant oh, species boy. of of right it's so, kind of scary Kimmy. It, it is very wow. scary <laughs> it's terrifying i didn't i didn't know you had a dark side deal yeah so <laughs> you're interested in so much i was so i was so fascinated i'm still fascinated <laughs> about this um i don't know why but it is fascinating. I, I, I love, so, so at one side of me, loving me about the live music and the live atmosphere yeah. and everything organic and everything that's built there because you had to be there at that moment and everything's created at that moment. And then you look on the, at the other side and this AI singularity and where is this going to? Mm -hmm. And that's also something that really is making my brain go berserk. It's yeah, mind it's mind blowing for sure. Yeah. But I'm surprised that you use me as an example there. Yeah. Um, I thought you would have used Michelle and, and Arwen. We could use them and we could really find out what's going on. What really happened at South by Southwest <laughs> after midnight. <laughs> okay, we got to take another real quick break. Uh, tell us, uh, Michelle, what we're listening to. Uh, it's Perfect Love featuring Youth of Roots. But uh, tell us a little bit about this this song. Oh, which one? Sorry. Oh, uh, it's the the song going out. A break right now. We're gonna play "Perfect Love" featuring Youth of Roots. Oh, yes, this one, this one is a a, a song by Yayoi Daimon. Yayoi Daimon was a, an act that was performing on one of the. We I just happened to spontaneously be there. Spontaneously be there. I was just you know walking. I was watching this three ladies performing so it's girl three girls one yeah. singer she's a hip-hop dj singer uh there was a dj and a dancer so this is a, a unit of girls their performance was superb she was a great singer uh i think she her message was about in, uh, independence um, of women and she you know she wanted to sing about uh, empowerment of women which is i think uh appropriate there's it was held during the Women's Day, International Women's Day, um, and her performance was 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 actually surprisingly good. good. So I thought I'd put it, I'll throw it in here. Um, so we don't work with the Aoi Diamond, but I thought her performance was amazing. So I thought, oh, that's great. Well, well, and somebody you saw at South by Southwest this last weekend? Yes, correct. Yeah. Oh, great, great. At, at one of the bars. Awesome. Well, enjoy this, the music. We'll be right back for our final segment. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Kimmy Kato Show. <laughs> 